Yeah, we're just Mrs. Uh, Professor Steve Hanke. Hello, Professor Steve Hanke. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, my first question is, uh, describe the causes and nature of uh, U.S. mortgage crisis. The mortgage crisis was caused by inappropriate monetary policy by the central bank. Uh, in November of uh, 2002, uh, Ben Bernanke gave a speech in Washington in which he said the biggest problem and threat that the U.S. faced was deflation. And as a result of that, the Federal Reserve lowered the federal funds interest rate down to a record low at the time of 1% by July of 2003. And, and as a result of that, you started to get yield chasing, leveraging, and, and, a, and a huge boom in, in certain prices like commodity prices, housing prices, equity prices. For example, from 2003 until 2006, house prices went up by 45 percent in the United States. And, and the general consumer price index didn't hardly go up at all. Uh, from 2003 until 2008, the, the consumer price index only went up 12 percent. And in that same period, by the way, commodity prices went up 92 percent in the United States and stock market prices went up about 65 percent. So you, you had a, a big distortion in relative prices. This is, this is an Austrian economic insight of, of Hayek and Mises and the, and the Austrians. And they said when you get this money flooding into the economy, you get big distortions in relative prices and, and you have little mini booms and mini busts like the housing boom and bust. Uh, Professor Hanke mentioning the Austrian School of Economics, how do you gauge the present state of affairs of the U.S. Uh, real estate uh, market? Is the environment sound, in your opinion? Well, the, except there are a few places that are somewhat strange, like there's a big housing boom in San Francisco, for example. It's a little bit like the housing boom in London. I mean, L London, it, the, the prices have, have gone up to the moon, and the same thing in San Francisco. But generally, in the United States, it's fairly calm right now. The, the problem with monetary policy in the United States, because we still have a big problem, is that the, the money supply, broadly measured, is growing at a fairly slow rate. The, the, annual rate is only about 3.4 percent in the money supply growth in the United States. So that's why the economy isn't growing very fast. The money supply is growing slowly. Now, why is that? It's because about 80 percent of the money supply is actually produced by banks, and banks are being regulated, almost tortured by the politicians, and as a result, they've deleveraged their their loans and, and, and the amount of risk that they're taking, and they're not uh, supplying that much credit. And as a result, the central bank is, has taken over with quantitative easing, trying to make up the difference, shall we say, mitigate the, the problem. But as a result, quantitative easing and very loose state money policy, but very tight bank money policy, has led to a net balance of relatively tight monetary policy in the United States. By the way, if you look at Bulgaria, it, it's fantastic what's been going on in Bulgaria. E ever since the, the uh, commercial credit bank collapsed in the fall of, of 2014, that not only the money supply has decelerated, but private credit actually has been contracting in Bulgaria and, and is contracting at about 10 percent year over year. So there's a, if people wonder why it's so hard to get a loan in Bulgaria, it's because of the credit, the commercial credit bank collapsed. And oh, thank you so much, Professor Hanke. Right to the point as usual. Връзката, за съжаление, като че ли прекъсна, но основната есенция от идеите на господин Ханки, като че ли успяхме да ги а, разберем и чуеме. Продължаваме в студиото след секунда.